Hello and welcome back to Rule the Wives 2. We are playing Imperial Germany in the 1900 start. It is now September 1943 and Germany is at war with uh, Great Britain and allied with France but the Soviet Union is about to join the war which can hopefully be avoided. Last turn we had a great naval battle in the North Sea Actually, it was basically even at the position of the last of the real Battle of Jutland and the outcome wasn't that different either. The losses were massively in favor of Germany. So um, Great Britain lost a lot of um, a, a much higher number of ships. But at the same time, whether or not it was a success is up for debate because uh, losses in itself don't necessarily mean that you've won a, won a battle. By victory points, the game counted Great Britain as a winner, but heavily damaged ships uh, count towards the victory points, but they will still be able to fight the next battle. Sunk ships won't, and the British lost a metric arse-ton of ships. Um, we can see here, I think all of them were sunk. So three battleships and all those battle cruisers. I think. Um, the thing is though, or at least most of them, I don't know. The thing is um, that now Germany, no actually it doesn't count Germany as blockaded anymore, but uh, the while, while the losses have been higher on the British side, nothing has changed. They are still um, superior in numbers and um, our fleet is for now taken out and it will take four months until the battle fleet is back in action. And as Germany has smaller resources, um, not, not resources, actually our budget is slightly bigger now than that of Great Britain. But as Germany's navy is smaller in, in total, the number of capital ships at least is smaller, um, it might have had more negative effects on us than on them. But without further, further ado, let's just continue. We should check on the naval air bases first. Because a few of them were increased, but I think um, I have only, I have um, set the fleets to their size after they had been increased. So let's just continue. We are currently developing a Mackensen class battle cruiser and um, we have the budget to build a couple of them as soon as the um, design is ready and we need a few new capital, sh capital ships as well okay so yeah the British invade Rhodes and they invade Djibouti yeah we are going to lose a lot of colonial positions in this war I don't see how we could do anything about that for now. But at least they are suffering from food shortages, shortages now. We can't do anything here. And that all of this is pretty high. So that's going to be a tough thing against them. Let's check here. No, I think we will get messages when the the sizes here are um, when the naval air bases are increased yeah and they already captured roads um yeah so they want they they are offering us peace but basically that we would concede defeat we are not going to Float plane scout, a more modern one, one a better version, so longer range. Still poor reliability though. Okay, uh, one carrier is in port, uh, in, in the dockyard, after being hit by a mine. Thank you, thank you. Um, as one of the most loyal and most earliest followers you played a part in that so thank you 
<laughs> yeah, well, that's a long way to go, though. Okay, so uh, the French are adding some victory points. We have a, another invasion battle. Yep. I don't think there we can't do much, so the Congo is going to be lost as well. This is going nowhere uh, either. We need a fleet battle very soon or this won't end really well. Because they are taking one base after the other. So Djibouti is lost. It's like a re in reality. As soon as um, the war broke out and the German fleet was concentrated in the North, the North Sea, the um, Allied had basically free hand with the colonies. France adds a few more. Oh, uh, coastal raid, medium size. That's the current ready, ready the number of currently ready ships. We see um, they are considered to have four battleships and ten battle cruisers. Fourteen against ten of mine. That should be something we could could handle in general, at least if we're lucky. But let's see. Oh, and the drilling starts. So again, I hope it's not. Um, too loud here. Let's see. I've got two carriers here, two battleships. Well, actually, what is the time saying? Um, daylight for two and a half more hours, so we can probably go out for like two airstrikes. Unknown radar contact. Okay, let's start an airstrike right away. Oh no, weather weather doesn't permit it. Okay, then. We are going to have, wait, those are two. I hate that when they drop them basically on top of each other. So that one here is, please follow, wait, this is carrier division 19 and fo follow it. And carrier division 19 status, um, you go somewhere here at full speed because I need you to get out of the way visibility is only 10,000 yards okay so let's go in ah, that was probably just a freighter yeah let's continue north that doesn't look like a warship There, there's mo that's more like it. Still, weather limits air operations, so my carriers will be of no, no big use. Visibility down to 6,700, so we are sending in the destroyers. Let's speed up and try to catch that, whatever it is. I think it was another freighter, yeah. What is, by the way, the mission? One bombardment target, okay. Ah, okay, I need to go there then. Didn't even realize I have a mission. Let's keep the carrier somewhat close at least, in case the weather clears up, which can always happen. And then we want to be able to use them and they shouldn't be like completely off. Okay, I think we found the enemy fleet. But our radar does a good job. What is the distance? 10 miles, so like 16 kilometers of radar range. Could be worse. Okay, can you open up? Yes, good. He does. So one battleship and one battle cruiser so far. Let's check three of them. 16 inch good armor um, Okay armor, okay armament a little weak only six guns Not really ideal Okay, and it's getting night already so I don't see much of a point to getting the carriers too close Let's get them down to 20 knots and have them cruise a little bit around in the south.
Ah, damn it. Yeah, that was unnecessary. But at least the damage it took was basically is negligible. Let's um, go in further, I guess. We don't want them to get away. Let's charge after them. I guess he is rudder jammed, okay. That is not ideal. Or should we probably go for... No, wait. We can have those here. Bombard the target. Because we don't want to waste the points here. Let's have them go down to, I don't know, 5 knots. So they have more than enough time passing it. Okay, we are... Let's go back, so we have a chance of... So we allow the Friedrich der Große to close in again. Would be nice now if those two, those guys would be hit. Bombardment target being hit, perfect. Turn over here, closer. Okay, what is Friedrich der Große? Are you taking water? No, you don't. Good job. Okay, I don't like the um, how close all those destroyers are. My radar could do a better job. Let's try to catch this one up here. That should be the battle cruiser. so they are launching their torpedoes against destroyers not really ideal and those are able to evade even worse um, you go back so you sh can shoot the target some more okay there it is this one we want to kill uh, again okay now it's becoming a nuisance. Yep. Mm. Distances are too small and my destroyers... Oh, I didn't activate it for whatever reason. Yeah, of course he's been hit. Let's um, move away. Okay, he's stopping. Okay, it's only a DD. That's not good. Let's go down to cruise speed with both both of them. Um, medium flooding. No additional flooding. But I think Friedrich Wilhelm... No, it was Friedrich Wilhelm III. But I think he should be fine. The damage isn't that big. But again, I wasted... Um, I wasted resources by just not being patient enough. Mm, well, too late now. Can they please kill the bombardment target? So we at least get those points. That will be nice. Let's go down here to 10 knots. No point in taking any risks. Can they please kill it? Or go down to one knot. So you're staying in range longer. Probably just stop them. High risk though. Because obviously they can now be surprised. And it would be nice if they started firing. It's invisibility range according to the map. <sighs> and here they are closing in. My two battleships. Uh, 
Yeah, not much I can do here. Um, yes, and we can actually enter French ports. That's good to know. So let's go for the French port then. It is the closest one. No point in having the battleships around. I'm not going to look for another engagement, especially not at night. Just hoping that I'll be able to, to destroy that one. happening Naval contacts close by, by the radar. When does it become light? Nine hours, that's quite a long time still. Really dislike that. And I've been unable to, to not even destroy this and that my battleships have been damaged again. And we can't even speed up because he's close to the bombardment target but they refuse to shoot at it, which is quite annoying. And I think I should probably get the hell out of Dodge rather, because um, if the weather clears up, then I'll be facing air attacks, and I don't think that's uh, much, that's worth it, destroying this one, so yeah. Oh, not good, not good. Why is he going 24 knots? Oh, I hate this. I have no idea why they suddenly change speed. So apparently they have run into something here, a destroyer, okay at least they've taken him out. Oh there's something up here too, ah you know what, let's risk it, let's try to go for the seven hours of dawn so we can attack that here which is probably a freighter, that should give us some extra points at least. Let's go for that one as well. of Dunkirk. Useful to have the French ports here. But yeah, I'm giving up. So this will be another defeat, but I don't see a point in having two cruisers waiting around off the British coast. HMS Robert. Oh. So our destroyer, uh, named after leader, is now the fleeting, the commanding ship of the fleet. Oh. <laughs> and he strikes a mine. Oops. And as he's sinking. Well, and he's done. Okay. Oops. <laughs> Great Britain minor victory. Okay, at least only a minor victory. Mm. 
HMS Robert is the only ship sunk. Those were medium damage already. Not ideal. But well. And I lose a prestige. Not good. How long until they are coming back? That one takes four turns. Well, nothing I can do about that now. So Middle Congo is also lost. I guess um, the need for colonial cruisers is currently decreasing. Let's take it as a positive uh, way. And I think the effect, better torpedo bomber, the effect in um, financial means should be fairly negligible in 1944. Um, as I said in another episode, the, the manual states that um, the income from colonies decreases over the span of the game. I mean, we can probably check. Yeah, their budget actually went down for whatever reason. Okay, so we have battleships here. We attack. Apparently, it, we attack a convoy with battleships, and I guess it's night. Yes. Okay, so we send the torpedo bombers in right away. Peterstrasse, we've got a couple of carriers again. And I guess those are, yes, battle cruisers in support role. Let's just speed up and see what we spot. Radar contact. Okay, those are warships. Let's turn in and speed up at least somewhat. Let's go to full speed. But I mean that I don't like it. Can't you just open fire yet? Because, I mean, if they have radar too and launch torpedoes, that looks like a lot of destroyers. That is a battle line coming in, I think. Or are those the transport ships? Another line here, it's probably the transport ships. We are really close now. I don't like that. Yeah, it's the transport ships. Okay, um, we let's let's do some airstrikes here, and we do it with dive bombers only for now. Until we know where the um, big ships are. And I think against uh, um, transport ships, dive bombers, and against destroyers, they are in between there as well. Dive bombers seem the right choice, no point in wasting torpedoes. Oop, wrong. Okay, they are also going out for strikes. Especially against destroyers, they should be really helpful. Let's see. Those are really close now. Um, the escorts are in the other side of the transports, which hopefully means that um, they are not going in fully. And I don't know why it was deselected again. Um, the the um, Sending in the flotillas. Um, that's not good here. Iluvata in the right in the middle. Soldatenkönig has been hit. And the Große Kurfürst twice. Yeah, of course. I mean, if I charge into the fleet, I guess I'll have to expect that. problem is 
it's again quite the waste of resources if I am risking my battleships to sink some transports. I don't worry too much about those here. Yeah, he doesn't even have um, flooding for now. And this one, this one does actually. Not too much either. Okay. When do the airstrikes come? I think I should also have him turn away. It's getting a little too close for comfort. And those battle cruisers might come charging down. Um, I might need them probably, I will probably rather need them here than close to the carriers. Problem is I haven't even seen yet where his capital ships are. I wouldn't be here with this many battleships if he hadn't some here either. So there is something worth shooting at. Fortunately I haven't found it yet. Nevertheless, those might be no idea. They are a little spread out, too, too spread out for my taste. Okay, let's put it on turn together. So, they are more flexible. Let's turn away. Because those look like destroyers. Yep, truly not a corvette. That was a destroyer. Okay, he launched torpedoes. And the dive bombers come in. The first dive bombers. Good. Okay, let's see, look for the results. More dive bombers going in. Two bomb hits. Another bomb hit. Yeah, I think in general this should be, if we see all the bomb hits here, this will help. And I think that sending dive bombers is a good choice too in this phase. Where I'm mostly facing destroyers and um, transports. It would be nice if you guys could take out that guy before he torpedoes you. I mean, come on, hit him. Hit him some more. That should be it. Good. Okay. So the main fleet is up there, but I don't see much of a point in charging in too hard. Soldatenkönig has been hit. Again. Okay. Thirty-four. That is not ideal, but still fine enough, I think. Um, we will kill those here. Oh, where is it, by the way? More and more bomb hits. Everything fine in this regard. We need to turn south. Those are charging us a little hard. Would be nice if the Braunschweig were to, to turn away. Wait, is he part of that? Yes. Could you please turn, if you don't mind? Okay, thank you. Okay. Um, you are to follow those. And you guys are turning north again. What is his health? Oh, he's still fine. The more transports we crush, the better, obviously, in victory points terms. In victory point terms, but um, in uh, I'd obviously prefer them to kill some battleships, and there we got some. Okay, um, I think we should be able to select. No, we can't. So, despite having um, visuals here on the battleships, I can't order an airstrike, which is really unfortunate. 
Yeah, I can't. So let's, I don't know, put it here. Oh, those are getting close to torpedo bombers. Launch. Launch. And yes, you guys are doing night strikes. Because even at night you, you luckily can hit something. Good. Um, now, on the other hand, I want you to turn away. I don't know how well you'll do that, because you currently turn into the wind. But I prefer you not charging right into an enemy surface fleet. So, if you don't mind, would be much appreciated. Okay, I think I'll have to take manual control of them again. they are going wherever they want and here come the battleships okay do we have now we could activate it it would be mighty nice if you could torpedo those now and not those two okay we need to turn somewhat because I don't know what comes here what's coming here and let's turn back generally back just need to do a lot of turns that uh, mean that their um, torpedoes are being taken off aim and I also don't want to charge them away too far because I hope that the airstrikes are starting soon and uh, at night otherwise they might have issues finding the targets and just drop all their torpedoes on crippled transports or something that will be pretty sad. But I think for now it's going okay. Torpedo hits are not ideal. I need to check on them. No flooding. No flooding. Good. Come on, charge in. You are going back somewhat too. You can go forward again. Okay. Um, we are now going trying to put some artillery fire on his fleet those I'm not sure whether those are cruisers um, pause pause turned hard to starboard um, follow them okay you need to do a turn together because you're turning too slow and you should probably turn together and turn to the left to port so you don't eat too many torpedoes turn away you can turn in okay now turn up on with the böse okay up here one torpedo hit uh, yeah, that is not an issue. Um, ah, okay, that's one of the battle cruisers from the carriers, so I can't order him to follow those. That is a little dangerous. Uh, yep, launch right is being hit. Not good. Um, still fine though. Okay. It is kind of funny how those destroyers are able to just rush through the middle of my fleet without any problem. So he's down to nine knots unless the engines are getting repaired and somehow his speed improves again despite the small damage. The I guess the engine room was hit or something like that. So the tor torpedo probably hit right next to the boilers or the engine room. But if he doesn't speed up again, if or if she, the Braunschweig, doesn't speed up again, I'm going to take her out of the battle. Nine knots is too little, too, um, too much risk. Okay, auto there. 
The second is being hit by a torpedo. Um, not that ideal. 300 flotation damage. Friedrich the Dritte has been hit. Oh, come on. Those British torpedo bombers are really, uh, torpedo boats are really becoming a nuisance. Okay, so finally my torpedo bombers do are, have arrived and do some damage. Let's turn them away, let's turn them away. Um, those here are doing fine, so let's move them back up. Uh, that is the Braunschweig. Ruprecht von Bayern is already closing in again, so he can run away. Mm, the Böse is fine, I think, though he's pretty slow to be honest. I don't like that. Better than nothing, I'd prefer a battleship, but okay. Let's concentrate on those guys up here. Try to take them out. Braunschweig, enemy BC been hit, good. Braunschweig been hit, BC been hit. Okay, Braunschweig has now eaten two more torpedoes. I guess she'll probably be in trouble now. Yes, she is. Braunschweig and she is reattached, so we need to get her away. We detach her, manual control, and yeah, I mean, going north would be better, going towards Norway, but there is the whole enemy fleet, so I need to send her somewhere else. Good, but my torpedo bombers are finally hitting something. And they're actually hitting a decent number now. That's good. Okay, you're going there. Any any battleship currently running away? No, I don't think so. Okay. I have no idea what that is supposed to mean. I guess I guess the um, auto reattached, and for that reason, it became such a huge thing. For whatever reason yeah okay see a hit that is a little close now we should probably I don't know move some change course somehow that is at least a lot of hits so if those are battleships we might be doing a good chunk of damage no Tetis class. Let's turn him in. And that one is basically stopping. The only problem is I don't think it's a battleship. Because this is definitely a cruiser and a cruiser wouldn't usually sail in line with two battleships. Yes, it is only a heavy cruiser. Too bad. Okay, let's move them up. I mean, killing heavy cruisers is fine too. Just f and focus. I just hope for more battleships, obviously. Otto the second has hit by two. It's a little much. Oh yeah, that's a little too much. Um, he's in danger now, in grave danger. Let's slow down and immediately try to get away. Wilhelm the first is being hit by two. I think it's about time to disengage. Ah, oh, the damage is still okay-ish. Okay. Tetis has been hit, Sibylla has blown up. That one is stopped. That's good, okay. Here we see a battle cruiser, so... Whew. 
Let's move this way, I guess. Otto is retreating towards here. Okay, it would be nice if you guys could shoot the battle cruiser, can you? No. He even has torpedoes, I completely forgot about that. speed, move up here, move here. And move the booze. Oh, what is he doing? And he's been hit again. God damn it! This reattachment, this automatic, that is driving me crazy quite often as well. Here. That guy is not supposed to follow here anymore. Um, which, this division is it? check on him again. On the other hand, he's still pretty decently fine. I guess he can follow after all. 10, ten knots um, top speed. Okay, he needs to detach. I don't want him to go into battle with only 10 knots top speed. So, he is going away fleeing as well. And Heinrich the first is being hit. Is that guy still shooting torpedoes? Or am I being hit by own torpedoes? The fuck? Yeah, and th those guys are going in quite hard. Probably a little too hard. Let's see whether we can launch torpedoes here on that very close thing. This here? Why not? Fire. Whatever it is. At least if he torpedoes us, let's hopefully get him at least as well. Okay, it's a destroyer. That should be it. Usually a destroyer won't survive a torpedo hit for long. Okay, we get more torpedo hits. Spike is doing eight knots, that's fine. Want to make sure they are not going too fast. Um, and I think fleeing there is fine for the moment as well. On the other hand, no, we can actually have them go south, I think. I think. Oh wait, I'm not sure. At some point I have to keep them close to the and it's only cruisers again, God damn it! Um, at some point I have to keep them close to the destroyers because the battle can last long enough until daylight and then I don't want them to um, face enemy air attacks while they are crippled. Okay, take out the Lancaster without getting torpedoed, if you please. If you can, please. Turn away. shouldn't be for long now. What does he, how many torpedoes does he have? Two submerged, okay. So that is at least not such a big issue. Okay, whom is Wilhelm the first following? That one is going fine. Yeah, they both need, like, um, to be taken out of the battle pretty soon. Unfortunately, I don't see where his battleships are, so all I'm doing currently is shooting cruisers and getting torpedoed by destroyers. Um, what are these here? What are you doing? Going around somewhere on your own. Should probably try to, to send them all to a central location and then create a big column and just have them go together. That seems almost seems like a good idea. 
because I'm not sure whether I am able to find something worth attacking now and risking being torpedoed. Those are destroyers and I mean he can't launch from this angle so if we're going this way we should be fine. Unfortunately, what, which is really bad, that we haven't sunk us, uh, found, we haven't even found his battle cruisers yet, or have we? I can't remember. Um, uh, anyways, we haven't sunk anyone. And unless the um, torpedo launch, the air launch torpedoes were right, that they have actually hit battle cruisers. This has only been cru heavy cruisers, which isn't the same. I mean, it's still 12,000 tons, tons each time, but I'd prefer them to be uh, better targets, to hit better targets. Now we have uh, DDs chasing us, I think. Let's see, can we... Which is the first division that... this one here. Can you just send in your destroyers to keep them away from us? And then we... get the fleet together again and have the crippled ones come up as well and then we'd reduce everything in speed Peter Strasser, you are not supposed to be here well I'm the first is a little behind but um, if you could open fire on those guys, that would be nice. Okay, those were probably torpedo launches, but the best way to avoid being hit is just stay staying at an angle as sharp as possible. torpedo tubes, at least that's what I'd hope for. Um, what are we facing up here? Oh, okay, our carriers have found the enemy battleships. Oops. So that was hours ago. Okay, not a good idea. But if we have them launch here, it's probably going to help. Well, they are starting to drill again, so um, I think I'm gonna call it. Actually, gonna call it a day at this point. I hope you enjoyed it, and um, if you did so, please consider following and subscribing. And uh, thank you for watching. See you next time.